So the main uh, concept I want to show you guys is what is important for a catalyst. First thing first, they must in general have a large interaction area. And this is due to the area, if you increase the area of reaction, you increase the rate of reaction, of course. Let's say if you have two guys in a counter with, I don't know, 20 clients, or one guy in a counter with 20 clients. Of course, this is going to operate faster because they have more area, more space, more guys working in the same place. So this is going to be achieved generally by porous material or porous structures. The, uh, the solid contains many tiny pores or the surface of this pore supports the needed uh, high rate of reaction or they are going, for example, if you were into the microscopic level, you will see here that each pore is going to give you a lot of way more space right here. Let me actually show you more photos. This is a microscopic photograph. You imagine you are a molecule, you have you can go in this duct, or maybe you want to go into this pipeline here or this one here. You have huge spaces. And the good thing is not only that. Uh, you have ma many areas to react, you also have sizes, so if you have a huge molecule, let's say this size, it won't, it will be selective, it won't go inside. But if you have a very small one, well, you can go here and here, and you have a medium one, you go here but not here, etc. You can also even have a, a tunnel shape or tube sizes. And what else here, uh, well, look how in the one cubic, let's say this one cubic meter of material, you will have a lot of space, a lot of area. If you were to expand it, you will find it very, very, uh, let's say, high. Or the value of the area will be huge. So technically speaking, even though you have a small volume, you have huge surface area. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.